It's your girl Vani and I am back with another hair tutorial. Today I am doing feet and braids. As you see, I've already done some. I um, parted it and sectioned it out as I braid. And now I'm going to finish this braid. The way I get my styles, I just, my daughter, she'll find something on Google and um, I'll just go from there. And with this style, I just basically um, parted, you know, different sections to get my style going. Um, so with this piece right here, <clears throat> I have to do two. So I'm going to, and you got to have a good comb. As you see, this is broke, but this is one of my favorite combs. So, of course, I'm going to continue to use it. As you're parting, you want to um, make sure, on these feed and lemonade braids, you want to make sure you have a sharp point so the effect could look right so as you see her hair is kind of thin up here so i'm gonna take a little extra on this side and i'll just go around got to make sure that it's even. And also straight. So sometimes some people might have to do it twice. Um, if you're used to doing hair all the time, you may just need to do it once. And some people have an issue with parting. All you really have to do is hold the comb put it where you need it to go, lay it flat, and just move your wrist. It's all in your wrist. And as you see, I need to come back up and then come back down. You want to keep your parts um, at the ends of the braid. You want to keep them very close together. Some people like to start from the back. I used to start from the back. It doesn't give me the best effect. So I started from the top middle part. And now I'll just as you see with this section here, you want to make sure that it's very thin. See? And then this one will follow right down on it. I sprayed it with rose water that I make for the hair and skin. If you don't know what rose water is, you could Google it. I basically boil roses and purify the water uh, into a bowl. It's very healthy for the hair. Um, so, I got to make sure. I have to make sure her part is right. And then I'm going to grab the first three pieces, very, very small pieces at the end of our scalp. Now, some people say braid three times and then add. I like to personally 
look at the hair and look where I need to add. So that was four times that I did. And now I'm going to go ahead and add my hair. I'll go in twice before I add my other half an inch. <clears throat> and then I'll add doing small you got to make sure your other pieces are not being cut into your braid as I add it on I just continue to braid down because the braids are so small if you add too much hair it will look too thick so you don't always want to go you want to probably break down about four times before you add uh, I would say do a guesstimate look at the hair and use your opinion you're the stylist you're the artist All the way down and then I will add one more piece to the end I will actually go back to the half an inch just for my length as you see I will go around the braid in the back and connect these. So I'm connecting the hair to this part and this end. My middle piece, I'm holding because if you connect it to the middle piece, you'll see where you attached it. So. And then I will just continue to braid the hair all the way down. I braid the hair all the way down to the very end, as you see.
Okay. Okay. Right, I'm recording. Okay. <laughs> I'll let you too, Mom. Okay. Bye bye.